talk about the squat again. Last week, when we talked about the squat, we talked about sitting down between our knees. So rather than pushing those knees forward or pushing our butt way back, we're just going to sit down between our knees. So those knees move to the side, tracking our toes, and we stand back up from there. This week, I want to talk about the descent, uh, or rather how fast we're descending down to the bottom of that squat. So we've been seeing a lot of this, like grab that kettlebell, and we're just falling down, and we stand up from there. We fall down, and we stand back up from there. That's not at all what we want. The squat is a grind, and what we mean by that is that it's a slow and controlled movement. I don't want to be falling and bouncing out of the bottom and come back up. I want to slow, uh, slowly pull myself down into the squat and then stand back up. So when I'm here, everything in my body should be engaged. My lats are engaged, my abs are engaged, my glutes are engaged. And now from here, I'm going to actively use my hip flexors to pull me down. Sitting between my knees, everything stays tight, and then I can stand back up. You don't have to pause on the bottom, but we want to make sure we're not bouncing. So I come down and back up. Again, actively using my hip flexors to pull myself down and then standing back. So stay tight, stay in control, slow, slow down that descent a bit and eliminate the bounce on the bottom, and you're going to get way more out of your squats.